The AnyFind platform for APIs is the platform of choice for those organizations who wish to automate their business and expose their key business assets through web APIs. The platform caters for the complete lifecycle of the API right the way through from design and prototyping, through to development and testing, and on to management and engagement with end users. In order to appreciate how the AnyPoint platform for APIs can fundamentally change the way your company can drive competitive advantage and connect your key business assets to your customers, let's take a look at the way it can facilitate a trend which is taking the retail industry by storm. This trend is known as Omnichannel and it's all about benefiting both the customer and the retailer. The customer benefits with a consistent experience across all channels of interaction with the business, whether physically in the store, on the web, through mobile apps, or even through resellers. In all of these interactions, the customer is recognized and rewarded for her previous purchases, receiving the same promotions and discounts in each. The retailer also benefits from this 360 degree vision of the customer by acquiring a knowledge of her purchasing habits that will allow the retailer to target her accurately with recommendations that she will very likely respond well to, resulting in more revenue for the retailer. Allow us to introduce to you All In Cosmetics, who have decided to chase after this trend and drive their competitive advantage by providing a consistent, highly personalized and empowered experience for their customers, regardless of how they choose to shop with them. As part of their omnichannel initiative, All In Cosmetics have decided to use the AnyPoint platform for APIs to design, build, manage, and analyze a new RESTful web API facade on top of their backend SOAP web services. They will also use the platform to govern the latter. Let's take a walk through the typical life cycle of these APIs and the involvement of each member of All In's project team along the way. April is the API product manager for the public facing API and she needs to ensure that the API is an adequate response to the omni-channel initiative of Allen in the information it provides and the usage it obtains. Arnie is an integration architect who will collaborate with April in the design of all of the APIs and must ensure that they get reused internally and consumed by the software developed for each of the business channels. Deborah is a member of the DevOps team and will ensure that the APIs are efficiently exposed, deployed in a consistent fashion, and managed by API Manager. Carl is end-to-end -end tester responsible for the functional and performance tests of all of the APIs and services. Each of these people will play a key role in bringing the API along the life cycle from design and develop, through to deploy, on to manage and analyze, and finally, to engage and consume. April kicks off the work by creating a new organization in API Manager and sets up access for the members of her team. She creates two roles for her team, architects and developers. We'll see later how these custom roles will determine which members of the team get access to which APIs. We'll highlight these roles in green under the name of each member of the team mentioned here. April invites her team members while assigning them their appropriate roles. Now we're ready to take a look at the design and build phase. Here, April and Arnie collaborate together in the creation of APIs. Whether they be new APIs to be designed and created from scratch, or proxies to existing APIs. So, April proceeds to create all relevant APIs. She collaborates with Arnie in the definition of the interface in API Designer, where they will agree on the RAML specification for the channel-facing API. This API spec will, for example, show how Allen's items can be viewed and added to their customers' wish lists or to her basket for purchase. Arnie also wishes to manage the existing backend SOAP based services and to do this he specifies the URL where each service is exposed. 
Once all services and APIs are ready for other members of the team, April begins to assign them to the relevant custom roles. Custom roles, remember, are what give a set of team members access to a set of APIs. After the API is published, as we will see later, API developers and application developers will get centralized access to the definition so both the API implementation and the development of consuming applications can be developed in parallel. All APIs can be managed by the AnyPoint platform for APIs, regardless of whether the exposed APIs are the existing SOAP-based services or the RAML-based RESTful API. Deborah can generate proxies for the back-end SOAP services and deploy RAML-based API directly to API Gateway. She will ensure that the Gateway is paired with API Manager by applying the organization client ID and secret, which April can give her. She will also ensure that all generated proxies and API kit projects are exposing their endpoints such that ports may be shared where necessary and naming conventions are applied. So Deborah chooses the existing API she wishes to manage and generates a proxy for the API, which she can then deploy to the gateway, whether it be on-premise or on the cloud. As April is primarily concerned with the channel-facing API as a product, she will decide which policies ought to be applied to the omnichannel API. She will define SLA tiers as it is her desire that the web portal and iPhone and Android apps will be given priority in their use of this API over any other channel software such as that of partners or resellers. She will define that only recognized client software may consume this API by applying the client ID enforcement policy. For end user authorization, she will apply the OAuth access token enforcement policy. She will also apply the JSON threat protection policy for further security. API Gateway is constantly querying API Manager for any new policies applicable to its endpoints. As soon as they are applied by April, the Gateway will automatically apply them for future calls to the API. Gateway will also constantly report back to API Analyzer statistics on usage based on dates and times, specific applications, geographic locations and platforms. April then has all the information she needs to determine the extent to which the API is being used and is helping all in reach their business goals. So April chooses the API to which policies must be applied. She can create SLA tiers. She applies the relevant policies. When the API is used, she can analyze its usage and verify it meets its business objectives. She can even generate custom analytics based on response times, size of message payload, etc. When the API is ready and April has applied all relevant policies, it is opportune for Arnie to publish the API together with RAML or WSDL definitions, documentation, and the auto-generated API console if the API is RAML-based. All documentation which can facilitate internal application developers to develop software to consume the API is centralized in its own customizable API portal. Likewise, Carl, as member of the QA team, must know how to test the API from a tool like SOAP UI, which can execute tests against both the RAML and WSDL based APIs. Carl need go no further than the API console to know all that is required regarding functionality and message types for requests and responses. If it is of interest to All in Cosmetics for the omnichannel API to be published on the internet to the broad community of developers, then all of this same information will be made visible to the general public. With the richness offered by the API console for RAML-based APIs, developers can try out operations using its interactive features. They can also use API Notebook to try out orchestrations of calls to the API. So when Carl signs in, he is brought to the developer portal. He sees the APIs to which he has access, as well as the applications registered to consume them. 
You can see the individual API portal for an API where all relevant documentation is centralized, high level docs, for example, or WSDL definitions. You may see the API console for those RAML based APIs. He can request access to the API by registering a new consuming application. Or he can request access for the already registered SOAP UI, which is, of course, a consuming application which must be able to test the API. With this, we complete the life cycle of collaboration between April, Arnie, Deborah, and Carl for all in Cosmetics Omnichannel API and backend SOA services.